of persons who are to be arrested when they arrive in Guyana. Let me repeat that. It was revealed that the police have a list at the ports in Guyana saying with names of persons, I understand there are about 80 names of persons who are to be arrested when they arrive in Guyana. Are going to affect, uh, affect the arrest. Are to be able to tell the person what they have been arrested for. Immigration and know what he's been arrested for. The CID and know what he's been arrested for. But he's been arrested. And to make matters worse, after the intervention, uh, I understand this thing went right up. Complaints went right up to the top. And there too, all they know that something there for the man to be arrested. They cannot explain why this man. Where are some am I? One must be careful for. I am frightened nothing. I everything I speak here is the truth. And if they want to arrest me when I arrive for speaking the truth, well then so be it. Because that that threat is not gonna um or that information is not gonna prevent me from traveling when I have to. I don't have the names. I don't have the names. I'm told 80 names are there. It was reported to the US Embassy, the other big to and fro, to and fro. The man was detained, arrested for in excess of seven hours before he was then allowed to um, to go into the country to go to his um, nephew's funeral. About seven to eight hours he was detained um, in, in, in that. And I, I don't know, so it, it looked like we are rapidly going into this police state. Now, if you are going to have a notation for person to be arrested, the people who are, and he, he is able to, left, uh, to leave Guyana without any question or anything like that, something gotta be wrong and i would hope that that man seeks the advice of a good lawyer and take the police and the government where you can't sue the police or matter like the attorney general to court because that is a clear violation of the person's constitutional right seven hours you arrest welcome back to the flight hit that subscription button buddy and stay updated with everything that's trending in guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. One love, Delta 9 family. Welcome back to the flight. We're hearing that persons are getting arrested as soon as they step off of the flight. We're hearing, allegedly, that there's an arrest on arrival list. We're hearing that right now, at the Chevy Javan International Airport, allegedly, in accordance with what the top cop is about to say, there's 18 people on this list. Now, I was speculating on the thumbnail, and the thumbnail can't fit 18 pictures, boy. So, because it seems like a lot of these persons might have said something that the government allegedly did not like. And then now, they might put themselves, or they might find themselves in a situation where they might become a political exile. Can't come back home but want to go back home we're hearing that it already happened yeah we're hearing that one american naturalized citizen already experienced this situation buddy and more persons might experience it soon let me hear right now who the top cop is talking about about this arrest on arrival list 18 people on this list in guyana the ports the main port is Timiri International, uh, Chedi Jagan International Airport, of persons who are to be arrested when they arrive in Guyana. Let me repeat that. It was revealed that the police have a list at the ports in Guyana saying, with names of persons, I understand there are about 80 names of persons who are to be arrested when they arrive in Ghana. So about two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, or perhaps even a little longer than that, a citizen, a Guyanese who is a citizen of the US, traveled to Guyana for the funeral of his nephew. And when he arrived at the Chedi Jagan International Report, Airport, he was detained, arrested by the immigration officers. And when he inquired about what he was arrested for, they don't know what he's been arrested for, but all they can tell him is that there's a note in the system saying that he should be arrested on arrival. So they proceeded to arrest him. They call in, and this is how the story goes, this was related. They call in then the CID. The CID, same thing, yes, he's to be arrested. They cannot say 
why he's to be arrested. His, his lawyers or his lawyer um, intervened. They cannot tell the lawyer why he was arrested. The man was reported to the U.S. Embassy. They had a big to and fro, to and fro. The man was detained, arrested for in excess of seven hours before he was then allowed to um, to go into the country to go to his um, nephew's funeral. About seven to eight hours he was detained um, in, in, in that. And I, I don't know, so it, it looked like we are rapidly going into this police state. Now, if you are going to have a notation for person to be arrested, the people who are going to affect, uh, affect the arrest are to be able to tell the person what they have been arrested for. Immigration, I know what he's been arrested for. The CID, I know what he's been arrested for, but he's been arrested. And to make matters worse, after the intervention, I understand this thing went right up. Complaints went right up to the top. And there too, all they know that something there for the man to be arrested. They cannot explain why this man should be arrested. And then the man was eventually released without any charge or anything like that. Without any charge. The man did what he had to do in terms of funeral and so on. Then he traveled back out of Guyana. No, um, but he prevented him from traveling. So you have a note for him to be arrested. And he is able to go about it. Well, eventually he was released. And he, leave, he, he is able to, left, uh, to leave Guyana without any question or anything like that. Something got to be wrong. And I would hope that that man seeks the advice of a good lawyer and take the police and the government, you can't sue the police or matter like the attorney general to court because that is a clear violation of the person's constitutional right. Seven hours you arresting them out for what? For what? All because somebody must put the name on a list. And as I've said, my information is that the list remains there with about 18 persons name on the list of persons who are to be arrested when they arrive in Guyana. Well, let me say this. I hope my name is on the list. I hope that they put my name on the list. I have a right there. I, I have traveled over the past year or so in and out, and they don't give me no answer. But I hope that they put my name so I could get a little pension money because it is unconstitutional. It is wrong. But then the rule of law seems to have broken down in Guyana. So it can violate people's rights with impunity. That is what's going on. Then the attorney general can come and complain that oh, they got to pay this money and the people are acting inappropriately and uh, unconstitutionally referring to the police. But you are the attorney general. It's time you step in and put a stop to this blasted nonsense. That's the only way I can describe it. Put a stop to this nonsense. They are violating people's rights, left, right, and center. And the reason why it continues, in my view, is because no one is held accountable. No one is held accountable. So Rastaman said, must be careful. Be careful what Rastaman right? You must be careful for. I am frankly nothing. I, everything I speak here is the truth. And if they want to arrest me when I arrive for speaking the truth, well, then so be it. Because that, that threat is not going to, um, or that information is not going to prevent me from traveling when I have to. I don't have the names. I don't have the names. I'm told 80 names are there. They're, I am advised. I'm informed that you have a list with 80 names of persons, obviously persons in the diaspora, who are to be arrested on arrival um, in Ghana. I've said a lot. Let me begin, Mr. Connery. CC, what say you, my brother? Well, I know they, they, they continue to violate people's persons' rights, you know. And um, I heard about the incident with, I think the guy is from London or somewhere there. And I heard about a list that is there also. The persons, when they come into Guyana, they'll be arrested. And this is a breach of the constitution because if you're going to arrest me, you must, I must be told in simple language, in language that I understand, and in detail, what is it you are arresting me for? No, no, it's something in the system. A natural way to stay ready, baby, because I'm ready for you, Mr. C. What you're seeing there, folks, is the president of Guyana, Mohamed Irfan Ali, feeding the soldiers, senior ranks, the most senior um, members of the Guyana police force. Can we see people there, colonels? Lieutenant Colonels, those are the ranks that I recommend, recognize. 